can't tell you how many times I tried to record this, so skip intro, moving on to the story. Queen's point of view. Uh, while the others play video games, I train alone every once in a while or I'll get rusty like Tim. Don't get me wrong, I do want them to train with me, but they seem too busy with video games to even notice. I even tried saying things, but nothing works. The boys are happy, or, uh, are in the living room as always because they pretty much live there. They're playing another video game as I speak. Hey guys. And Zane, why are you wasting your special attack on me? You have to save it, scolded Jay. The dragons are attacking the forest below. Oh, fantastic. I'm out of lives, Jay said. But the lesson lives on, and I'm getting the hang of it, said Zane. I'm unplugging the TV. If the next set of words ain't addressed to me. Okay, now, said Cole. Fine by me. I ran past them with Sensei. I beat him into the plug and unplugged the TV. The boys complained loudly as I growled. Why would you do that? Why? Because A, I legitimately said if the next set of words ain't addressed to me, I'm unplugging the stupid TV. B, you guys have been living here since Grandma Dork left. No offense, Sensei. And when he could uh, come back in the next five seconds to get the golden stupid weapons of uh, stupid Spinjitzu and Anna's are sorry butts. And C, y'all never include me in anything other than training the first and only few times you guys went outside and actually acknowledged the great outdoors. And I know Sensei agrees with me. She's right, you know. But Sensei, Queen, ever since Garmadon uh, left, the jungle has nothing, had, has had nothing but peace. He said Zane. Jay laid on his stomach. The piece is boring. There's nothing to do. Well, let's see what I can think of in the next few seconds. Other than play video games, eat and sleep, you could. Oh boy, said Sensei. Here we go again. Train with me. Play a few rounds of go fish, especially with me, since. With me, since. Especially since I hand make the prizes. Actually, go fishing with me. Spend time in stargazing, trying new foods, help me you get the- Okay, we get it. We could train tomorrow. Never put off to, to, to tomorrow. What can be done today, said Sensei. Well, well I was going to eat yeah, this pizza tomorrow, so if that's the case, I want the pizza out of his hand. No pizza for you, Charcoal. In order for you to reach your full potential, you must train. Uh, remember when we did a- a little something called the tornado creation. I thought that was pretty insane. Yeah, mainly because I was there. But plants, but plant withers away in time. Teacher's pet, hothead, mutant cat, call for brains. No offense, Brookstone. Enough. I said, Sensei. He he sighed. You five merely scratched the surface, as of your true potential. There is many secrets that have yet to be unlocked. You want to uh, talk secret powers? Check this out, said Cole as he used his scythe to plug back in the TV. Since they pulled his beard while I banged my head against the wall in frustration. Don't worry, Sensei. We will be ready when the time comes. Here comes Nia, the claim that Garnon returned and my brothers trip over her their own feet. Tomorrow's planning on these boys? Forget tomorrow. Today is doomed, especially since Jay forgot Nia's name. Movie Romeo McLightning Pants! I want to do that again. Movie Romeo McLightning Pants! Coming, Miss Queen! Please don't ask me how I you get the boys to call me ma'am or miss. I really don't know. If I did know, that would do it more often. Bad time, YouTube. But I'm continuing on. How long am I? Three minutes. Okay, that's good. The, the, other, the order of dragons go as follow from left to right. Wisp, Shard, Rocky, Luna, and Flare. I know. I love how the leader's in the middle. I love it even more when Zane hits his head on the door. I get on Luna's back as I hear Jay fall from Wisp, as fall off Wisp, cold side land on the ground, and Kai talk to Nia. Tomorrow will never come because these clownfish can't get their act together. We fly towards Jamana Kai village when chit chat. Her rolls about the weapons. These things can make sushi for all I care. Okay, maybe I would care if they can make sushi, but that's besides the point. As long as the, the secrets are unlocked, uh, Chen can be a bad guy for all I care. All you uh, all you Ninjago fans who at least made it to season 4, or at least finished season 4, would easily understand this joke. 
Okay, I, he, I don't know about you, but is anyone else a little excited to face Garmadon again? We all agreed as we raced to the village. Luna and I were first to land. Yeah, Kai and Jay lied and said they, and said they were first. While Cole and Zane took my side. Note to self: make them a cake later. We entered the village and saw a large shadow. I focused more on the shadow, um, making whatever Kai said, and nothing more than a mumble. The shadow went closer to the ground as the figure got closer. La the laughter got louder, louder and higher. Unless something happened to Garmadon's voice, this must be a child. Lil told me to get the camera out I have in my pocket for some reason, so I did as was told and recorded. <laughs> now this I'm actually going to try. It is I, Lloyd Garmadon, said a little guy dressed in black with a ribcage on the front. I was right. I demand all the candy down, or else... As you can see, I'm enjoying myself too much right now. Lloyd Gordon? asked Jay. He, he, the expression on his face made it almost too funny not to laugh. I thought we were going to face Lord Gordon. It's his son, Cole and I said at the same time. At this point, we're being called twin, the twins, so we're used to saying he the same thing at the same time. Looked like he, he escaped a dark... Darkly school boarding school for bad boys again. Jeez, I didn't think that would be hard to say. We walked to him as Cole claimed hey, we should do. We should be doing spin jitsu by now. Uh, I kept the camera on Lloyd as I answered Kai. Like I said before, it's it's almost too funny not to laugh. Uh, give me a candy or I'll release the serpent here on you. He claimed. I smirked at the thought. I see no half human, half snake being anywhere. To think yeah, that an ancient race of snake people who rule, but would be ruled by a child, especially one kind in particular. He took out. He took a can out inside. He took a can out inside the can were rubber snakes that launched out into the rest of the village. One almost hit the camera. Cole's point of view. Hey, claim you got. Uh, you got a snake army in your pocket, but watch the camera," said Queen. Yeah, I see. Lo I see that Lloyd had already met her since they're arguing over something. If he wants to take over Ninjago, he's gonna have to uh, have to use something better than a mere bedtime story," said Kai. He has as the villager as the villagers booed and threw veggies in the background. I'll point out that he sounds like Queen, but now's not the time. The Serpentine are real, Kai. <laughs> they are not something to joke about, said Zane. We're supposed to believe that snake hey, people once ruled in the jungle and were locked up. They were one day locked up. Uh, locked up to separate the t in separate twos to separate the warring tribes uh, so that they uh, don't join forces to, revenge, uh, to get revenge on those who put them there. It's just an old wives' tale to tell kids not to poke her noses where they don't belong. Besides, wasn't it a little, little odd how nobody has ever found one of those tombs? That's because you'd be a fool to look for one. And if there's, there's one thing that I hate more than dragons, it's snakes, rubber or not. Queen was growling at Lloyd as we walked close to him. Now he's a problem. But we picked him up as Queen kept filming. Why is she filming this? Don't worry, folks. We got here. You're nothing. We got this. Nothing to see here. Unhand me or suffer my wrath. I'll give you to the count of three. One, two. What should we do? Spank him? Two and a half. Queen's point of view. <laughs> wow, you just made me your nemesis. Mark my words, said Lloyd while tearing up. The boys hung him high e up. Up on a sign covered in a mug right by a candy stand where everyone laughed, except for me, unless a chuckle counts. Not even I would hang coal by a bakery like that. Wouldn't do that to him in general. Zane gave me a candy cane? Now's not the time of. You know what? I'm not gonna question. Next time. Uh, wrong, wrong person. <laughs> Next time, try paying for your candy. How? Unless he has some cash in his pocket, he, he can't unless he steals it from people he bumps into. 
Crying doesn't pay, muchacho. So you can take that to the bank. He threw a little fit as everyone left him, including the boys. I stayed and filmed him. True, he nearly broke my camera, but not even a kiddo who, like him, deserves to be humi humi humiliated or like this. Curse me in my big heart, I say to the camera before pausing it. I put it down so I could help Lloyd down from the side and clean him up. I, get, I continue to record. There you go, little kitten. Here. Yeah, I don't really eat candy anyways, I said as I gave him the candy cane. He was surprised that I helped him. A bit, a bit, but that's okay. Queen! He yelled, Kai. Chillax, hot head, I'm a common. And I yelled back. Sorry, Lloyd. Gotta go. Catch you later then. I think I saw a slight pink on his face. I'm probably seeing anything. Anyways, that is all for for this chapter. Up next is oh, that's a short. And we got a little time. We got a little time for this. And moving on from that, but yeah, I, I do say y'all and ain't and miss say things. So. Here's what not to do with Queen. Never say that Queen dies is the name. Kai was being up in front of it, in front of everyone, because he said that Queen's a pet name. Never bring fish home without a name, a tag, or some way to say it's yours. Zay forgot about the name tag, and Queen ate the freshly caught fish that was supposed to be dinner. <laughs> Don't leave Queen alone for too long. Since they had, had to help repair slash replace, he has some of the training and equipment and after getting Zane, Jay, and Cole. Don't let her talk about her stories for too long. Nia didn't understand any part of her stories. He so saw Queen had to explain it all to her, though it took about an hour or so. Unless it's an emergency, don't wake Queen up. Jay had nightmares. It was about Queen being under his bed for a week, making him lose sleep. And sick. Never smell like fish unless you want Queen to hug you tightly and nibble on you like what she did with Cole a few times. So yeah. Three minutes, another chapter. Not happening. So see y'all next time. Bye.